Hello family! Welcome back to Keeping Up With The Case. <laughs> and we are now out on yet another little Remembrance Day, aka an anniversary. Mm -hmm. Babe, what is today? Why is today so significant? My baby asked me to be his girlfriend. Mm hmm It was actually at Disneyland. Where were we? We're at Pirates of the Caribbean. And what were the pirates doing? They were on a break. They broke down. <laughs> they went 101. But in the line, um, I guess we were just waiting there with a couple of friends and then I just said, you know what? And then I asked her, I want you to be my girlfriend. So we're going to be boyfriend and girlfriend for today. Yeah, so. Mm hmm So we're going to take you guys along with us. I still get to kiss you. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a little date because I got to take my girl out on a date, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to have some fun. So. Just happy that you're here with us and thanks for keeping up with the case. Love you all. Do it. See, is that the right hand? Yes, it is. Shake. What was that, babe? What was that? Say that again. <laughs> what were you looking forward to? To having our cake. Uh huh. And to be able to take them to Sprouts or like any like natural farmers mm -hmm. market, and I'm gonna buy them the little, the little sh shopping cart so that they can like also put their fruits and the veggies and all that good stuff. Because I'm gonna show them that eating healthy is the way to go. They're gonna sneak the candy in there one way or another. There's healthy candy. <laughs> Oh, so sorry. I was about to bust into laughter. And no uh, swisher fish. <laughs> Swedish fish. <laughs> what do you think about that, sir? You know what? I highly prefer because our children will never know the existence of a Swedish fish because upon their discovery and their ignorance turns into knowledge, they will never look back and it will be harder to break them from being one addicted to Coke or Pepsi or what have you. I do look long for it. I do long for that myself because um, I'd want to take their little tiny cart and I'll take it and you know, we'll just like run up and down the aisles like a kid. Cafe, what do you 1950s, 1950s oriented uh, bar. See, they got these little jukebox. I know. They don't work anymore, but you can tell look at they got Katy Perry. And some of them are common, but CCR. It's just a fun little cafe. So we're gonna we're eating here tonight for a little date, and then later on tonight we will see a movie. Because last anniversary we didn't quite get it, get get there. You know, time, whatever. We are going to see. Oh, I can't wait because I've been looking forward to this movie for a while. Venom. YouTube fam, what do you guys think about my husband's new Stunna John Lennon glasses? Or, or was it a, <laughs> or was it, what's that other guy who wears Let me glasses? see, show, show them. Yeah, they, around they go all the way around. That, that's, those are the old school glasses. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh. oh, come on, we all know who he is. Having like... I know, right? Tip of my tongue. Oh, oh there yeah. you go. And this, here's what you're looking for: Lucille Ball and uh, Ethel Mertz. Um, Lucille Ball. Um, my husband is still over there looking at some Star Wars toys. <laughs> Look, I'm over here and. Look at the rest of the other great products they have here. So my baby got me. I got her a black bag. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna black bag her. No, we got Marvin the Martian. Hello. Yes. So pack. thank you. I don't know what I'm pointing at. <laughs> oh, you're pointing at this beauty. Hey. <laughs> So I'm oh. gonna probably put in one of my jeans. Jeans are well. Don't you want to put it on your uh, your special camo jacket? Oh, or my camo jacket. Yeah, yes. that'll work too. Of course. So, anyways, yep, that was that cool little oops 
that cool little store. They're called, uh, I, don't, I don't see a name, but they're just kind of like a fun little, a fun little, uh, you know, they have all the nerdy stuff in here. There's a um, Harvey Quinn, Batman. Remember Gremlins, anyone? Please, I hope. We're not that old. Yeah. And then a bunch of other few things. So anyways. Don't show them Chucky. Oh, oh yes. Can't really see him. No, I, I got it, I got it, I got it. Here. Here, I can stand right here. Oh, perfect, there you go. Oh, they got the Halloween one. Michael, Michael Myers? Myers? Where? <laughs> Oh, there he is. I got it. Oh, that's like a baby one, a kid yeah. one. There he is. Da, 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 da. We love this store. It's so unique and crazy. Hello, BB-8. Mm -hmm. Star Wars stuff that my wife loves. Santa Claus. <gasps> baby. Let's put our baby oh, in a Batman. Oh, Batman. No, I want a Rolling Superman because I always call you Superman. So he's going to be my little Superman. After all, you are Wonder Woman. They had a Wonder Woman patch in there, but we'll get that next time. Yes. Because we don't need a patch to represent this one. Yeah. Actually, see you guys. You got it? Chewbacca! Are you serious? Chewbacca! Oh, Star Wars Boba Fett! Woo! <laughs> oh, this guy is a serious Star Wars Oh, guy. my gosh. Order 65! Oh, my gosh. For all you Star Wars nuts out there, um, you know what um, order 66 is. Well, that guy's order number 60 freaking five. He is all in. Wow. <laughs> I turned around and I got scared because I'm like, what the heck is that? Chewbacca! <laughs> <laughs> guys, comment down below or if anything oh you like, but gosh. especially comment down below if you, if you got that joke, order 65. Because I got it right away. Oh, why? That was why? awesome. And we're about to see a superhero movie, Venom. <laughs> oh, we just arrived at the movie theater. That just made my entire night. Oh my gosh, I'm really? so happy. Well, you know that made your night. No, what about me? No, you make my entire life, life. <laughs> Because you're my wife. See, a knight is a singular point in one's life associated with their wife. And I don't have a knife. Ella, you Stop talking. Stop talking now. My husband is so annoying. <laughs> We're here an hour early. An hour yeah, early. Yeah, Who yeah, arrives yeah, yeah. an hour early to anything? My husband. Different, better, cooler people because we're fashionably early. I'm much. always late. Yes, you are because need I remind you how late she was for our first date. Oh my god. Guys, okay. We're in number 19. Number 19 is not even available right now. Halloween movie is still on. You know, I'd like to point out that today marks the anniversary for when I asked you to be my girlfriend, correct? Yes. And it's November 19th. Uh -huh. And look what theater we got. Oh, we did get 19. Oh, baby. See, I bet if we got here on time or late, as usual. And then Halloween is my favorite movie, like all the Halloween movies. And Halloween is Halloween playing movies. on our theater, the last showing of Halloween. Mm -hmm. And then we get to see Venom. Because we already showed you Halloween, right? <sighs> well, we're gonna go, like my baby says, paint the town red. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes. So we're probably gonna go get some coffee. Muy bien. Yeah. That again. Babe. <laughs> <laughs> So I got a guayaba iced tea. I love guayaba. Guava, guava, right? Say it in. Guava? Yeah, guava. So good for you. Let's see, my baby's gonna take the first sip. This is what he does to me all the time.
Oh, you have to shake, shake it. it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid. <laughs> Hello. Hey. <gasps> that is just wrong. Excuse me. <gasps> I don't appreciate that. with my iced tea, everyone. That is not cool. Where did he go? Oh my gosh. Guys, he left. He left with my tea. Gotta go look for him. <gasps> tea. Oh, tea. I thought you said key. <laughs> My love, the reason why I like to take you to AMC is because it's anything Martha chooses. Oh, yes, this is why I married you. <laughs> Later that same evening. Her name is Yes, and that's Yes with three S's. Why didn't you tell me I was in the presence of a genius? She's the head algorithm of a very popular website called BuzzTube. That is what the- The next day. Good morning, YouTube fam. Oh my. Um, good morning. Welcome back to... Keeping up with the case. No, I'm not hungover. <laughs> but we did have an awesome night last night as a boyfriend and a girlfriend. Yes. Today's the next day. We're about to do a little devotional and we're on our way to Orange Theory. My wife is going to work out and tell them about how you have been seeing some really good results as a result of your persistence and commitment and hard work and endurance and all that good stuff. Yes, I've been going, I think it's been seven months or so. And uh, I've been definitely seeing that I have a lot more strength, a lot more energy, and it's just about just being persistent. Oh, really quick, babe. Are you marrying me? Yes. Yay. Now she's my wife. <sighs> Thank you for marrying me every day. No problem. We couldn't be happier right now. It's it's great. I was just telling my wife just, um, you know, a lot of the things that God does in our lives, mm -hmm. some, often we don't understand it and we're not even supposed to and there's no way we can understand in comparison to a toddler and, you know, a, a grown-up who's about to touch something hot. But the parent is going, if I let them go, they would have been run over by a car, fell into a pool, or touch a hot plate. No, 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 no. I got to stop them. God is the exact same way. Mm -hmm. We're down here with just, here. here's what's around us. Traffic, mm -hmm. you know, the road. We know where we're going. God is up there going, if I make you get a red light and then another one and then all the red lights, you better understand my son and daughter that that's for a good reason because I see the dangers up ahead or the potential dangers and I love you way too freaking much to just you know stand by and go oh, they'll be fine he when he says you can trust me with all of your heart you better believe that he means it and you can so we've been reading this one it's called my personal daily prayer book and it has for every day of the week. So today's November 20th. Let's see. It says no one conceals transgressions. No one who conceals transgressions will prosper, but one who confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy. 
Proverbs 28, 13. It says, O oh God, teach us to know that failure is as much a part of life as success. And whether it shall be evil or good depends upon the way we meet it. Can we face it listlessly and faith heartily, but angrily or vengefully, that indeed is it evil? But if we let our failures stand as guideposts and as warnings, as beckons and as guardians, then is honest failure far better than stolen success. Mm. And but a part of that great training which God gives us to make us men and women, the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. O oh God, amen. says when failures come learn from them for if you do you won't be a failure Ooh, but i like them that couldn't be more true definitely like would you rather you know try really hard at something failing again and again and again and again knowing that at least you're doing it honestly and sincerely and genuinely or are you going to lie cheat steal and you know leapfrog get rich quick your way into what you think is a success only to feel hollow and empty inside knowing that it was just kind of like it didn't take any effort mm -hmm. for sure that's a good one babe. so the first thing i opened to it it's says her emotions so my emotions it says lord help me not to react inappropri inappropriately or withdraw from my wife emotionally when i don't understand her giving patience and sensitivity and may prayer be my first reaction to her emotions and not a last resort although i'm aware that i cannot be my wife's every emotional need, I know that you can. I am not trying to absolve myself from meeting any of her needs, but I know that some of them are intended to be met only by you. I pray that you will fill her fill her with your peace and joy today and always. It says the Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. That's Psalms 34, 22. I know that the only, that only you can deliver and heal, but use me as your instrument of restoration. Help me not to be pulled down with him when he struggles. Enable me to instead to understand and have words to say that will bring life. Ooh, let me actually circle this one. So it says, this is Psalms 41, 3. I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of the horrible pit, out of the merry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth, praise to our God, many will see it and fear it, and will trust in the Lord. Now, the reason this one is circled is because I had this one years and years before I even met David, because it always reminded me of God's mercy and love, how sometimes we feel so unworthy and so dirty, and we just don't feel like we are worth God's time, but God always reminds us that he's there to always pick up you know, our dirty pieces and 
renew us and make us fresh and clean and and we are clean in him because he died for us he loves us he cares for us so this is one of my favorite verses that I always thought of God and I always it always reminded me of who I was in him so hello family hey guys we're here now and babe, why don't you tell them why while I go have fun? <laughs> we're at the 99 cent store because we're going to buy some uh, canned foods and give them to Orange Theory so they can donate it for Thanksgiving. And there goes my husband. <laughs> Sweet peas. Sweet peas. Everything looks so good. Let's see, where did you say, say the sweet potatoes were? Oh, here we go. These are ready to eat out of the can, right? Yes. Yeah. Found my baby a hat. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> wow, look at all this awesomeness. Of Christmas decorations, guys and gals, at the 99 cent store. I mean, it's cool. I think it's cool. <laughs> yes, that hat suits you, baby. Uh, it's been such a cool couple of days. First, we get to celebrate our my girlfriend. Ooh, and boyfriend. Oh, by the way, Venom was awesome. Yes, we recommend. Whoa, highly recommend it. It's man, it's um, it's action packed. It's funny, but it's also like, oh my gosh, and the end. Oh my gosh, it, 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 I can't. I, no, I can't. I can't. But it's like ah. You gotta go watch it for yourself. For me, it, it was very good. I mean, there's a lot of personal, you know, nostalgia into it. Which, but even without that, it's still pretty a pretty cool movie. I think you like it. You want to impersonate a little clip of Mr. Venom? Well, for one thing, I know. Shut up. We are Venom. Listen, I have a little parasite. Parasites. Ooh, that looks delicious. I want to eat it. I don't like those chips. I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, family friendly, right? No, good movie. Really cool. And um, when you watch it, you'll understand. You'll, you'll understand. But um, anyways. We love you all, and this has been an awesome, you know, cool vlogging experience. Always, we we love doing this with you all the time. And um, as always, thank you for thank you for always keeping up with the case, and thank you, Jesus, yes. always for your goodness. We love you guys always, always. and forever. Just thank you so much. Ready? Mm -hmm.